Good afternoon class. Right now, we'll continue the discussion on Fibonacci sequence. So, today, we will be talking on finding the end term of the Fibonacci sequence using Binet's formula. We all know that we have already discussed the rule or the formula of the Fibonacci sequence denoted by this equation. We have f sub n equals to f sub n minus 1 plus f sub n minus 2. We all know that f sub n here is basically the term position that we are looking for, or shall I say, n term. Well, the f sub n minus 1 is of course the term before f sub n. And f sub n minus 2 is the term before f sub n minus 1. So right now, we will be introducing another formula which was actually discovered by Jacques Philippe Marie Binet's. Binet, rather. Now, uh, this formula goes like this. F sub n equals to 1 over square root of 5 times the quantity of 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 raised to n minus the quantity of 1 minus square root of 5 over 2 raised to n. Now, take note that Jacques or Binet's formula is actually really helpful or applicable whenever we are looking for higher term position of the Fibonacci sequence. Instead of you doing it manually, since you will be doing the manual addition for uh, using the, the manual computation of Fibonacci sequence, then Binet's formula is really a great helpful for us to uh, really maximize our time or save our time. So let us continue. Again, this is our Binet's formula. F sub n over or equals to 1 over square root of 5 times the quantity of 1 plus square root of 5 over 2 raised to n minus the quantity of 1 minus square root of 5 over 2 raised to n. Now take note that the n here is basically the term position that we are looking for. So therefore, if we are looking for the 30th term, so the value of n must be 30. Okay, so let's move on. So let us apply this formula in finding the answer for this problem. Number one, find the 24th term of the Fibonacci sequence and show our solution. So right now, the solution that we will be using or that we are going to show is basically using the calculator. Now given is of course, since we are looking for the 24th term, then the value of n is equal to 24. So the question is, or the problem is, we have to find the f sub 24 or the 24th term. So you can actually use any calculator that you can download from um, the internet, from Google Play and App Store. Or you can also download the calculator emulator like the one that I'm actually using right now, which is available in uh, the internet or on the internet. So right now we will be using this formula to actually find the 24th term of the Fibonacci sequence. So just be careful in using calculator because some of the calculators cannot display large number of digits. And it might actually lead you to confusion. Kasi minsan, magdi display po or magbibigay ng sagot sa inyo ang calculator ng syntax error. Meaning to say, your calculator is not capable of displaying large numbers. Alright? So, uh, ang tatandaan lang po sa paggamit ng calculator kung paano uh, isinulat ang formula, then dapat ganun din natin siya i-input or ilalagay sa calculator. So, let's start with the fraction. So, 1 over square root of 5 times, of course, since wala tayong bracket, then we will be using uh, double quantity. So, quantity, another uh, fraction, so we have 1 plus square root of 5, and then down, you have 2, close, and close it, and raise 2, you can click this symbol, raise 2, since we are looking for 24, then our n is 24. Minus, so same, we have, we are going to repeat it, but this time, we are going to change the operation. So, 1, so, 1 minus square root of 5 over 2 raised to 24. And once you are done, you can actually click shift 
and RCL or the, the function there, STO, which is store, so that you will not be encoding again your um, calculator. So just click equals. So therefore, the value of the F sub 24 or the 24th term is 46,368. So this is actually the value of F sub 24. So we can actually clear this up. So the one that I just told you, since you actually uh, stored the, the formula, then uh, as you can see here, there is arrow up. So you just have to click arrow up to um, go back to your formula. So we will proceed or we are now going to answer problem number two. Find the 43rd term of the Fibonacci sequence. Show your solution. So definitely our end here is 43. So right now, since we already have the four. The formula, I'm sorry, excuse me. Um, since we already have the formula, then we are just going to um, replace 24 by 43 since we are looking for that 43rd term. So we are going to delete it, replace it by 43. Same with the other exponent. So this one. So this must be 43. And then click equal sign. So this will now be our 43rd term. So we have uh, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. So 433 million 434,437. And this is basically the, the value of the 43rd term. Now, uh, yung sinabi ko kanina, kung hindi capable na mag-show or mag-display ng ganito ka daming number, ang calcule nyo, baka pong lumabas dyan ay either uh, syntax error or uh, scientific notation. Okay lang naman kung naka-scientific notation siya. Kasi pwede mo naman siyang i-convert sa whole number. Pero mas maganda na mag-download po tayo ng mga calcu or calculator na capable of displaying large uh, mag-display ng malaking uh, numero. Okay pa? So, this is for now. Now, I hope na matuto, matuto po kayo kung paano gumamit ng calculator in applying Binay's formula to find the end term of the Fibonacci sequence. So, you can actually try it out. I will be uploading your activity in uh, Google Classroom so that you can um, do it yourself as well. So, thank you and have a great one.